hi guys good morning in this video i'm going to be showing you how you can make delicious frittata if you want to know how to make frittata then please keep on watching this video so i'm going to be showing you the ingredients which are necessary for making frittata and please if you're not subscribed to my channel now is a good time for you to subscribe click on the subscribe button just right below and also turn on the post notification bell so you don't miss any of my uploads so without further ado let's get right into this frittata recipe so starting with the vegetables i've already chopped all of the vegetables which i'll be using for making a frittata and you can see i have my spring onions eggs normal onions maggi green pepper red pepper so i used eight eggs then onions and um, i have my spices salt curry and thyme and i have my maggi i wouldn't use this four cubes of maggi because it's gonna be a lot i also have my chopped red pepper i also have tomatoes chopped tomatoes and sliced pepper just to decorate <laughs> the frittata then of course red pepper grinded red pepper spring onions here and bell pepper so i'm starting now i already put um a um, small quantity of oil on the frying pan and i'm just um frying my onions i'm just adding in more onions just to add some flavor to the oil and just um make my frittata really flavorful so i just want to just um fry the onions for about two minutes before i start to add other things like my tomatoes and pepper so i'm starting now by adding pepper and i'm just tearing the pepper in there it's just tearing it to make sure i get a good fry from the pepper then next i'm going to add my tomatoes into the frying pan so yes i just added in the tomatoes i'm going to keep on frying it in there then you can also add salt you can choose to add salt while the onions were still in or you can put the salt before you add the onions in the frying pan but i don't really like um for me when it when it comes to what's cooking like i don't have like strict rules i just go with the flow so right now i'm adding my no seasoning i'm adding my no maggi seasoning just to add um, some taste to my vegetables and i just sprinkled a bit of salt to it while i'm still stirring it in together so i'm just gonna let these guys here cook for a few minutes at least one to two minutes while i head over to adding my sausages to the mix for the sausages to be cooked or you can even choose to fry your sausage separately and then introduce it to the mix but because frittata is going to be cooked on a low heat for a very long time you might as well just not bother about frying it simply because it's gonna get cooked while it's in the mix so you can see the sausages it's a whole lot of sausage in there so you can choose to use less than a quantity of sausage that i used you can choose to use more but well this is what we're working with for our frittata so i'm just letting these guys cook cook really well so i'm adding in more salt to make sure that it's really tasty before i add in my eggs and um, the other vegetables which i'm going to be adding though just let this guy let let this um sausage sauce cook very well so next what i'm going to be adding is um my eggs yeah <laughs> i'm going to be adding my eggs next so you can see the eggs here what i want to do is i want to add some salt to the egg and whisk the egg i want to whisk the egg before i um, add it into the mix so i'm just using my same um, effect to just stir the eggs together to ensure that the egg the egg white and the egg yolk is all mixed in together before i add it into the frying pan so before you throw it you pour in your eggs eh, you can what you can choose to do is um, you can choose to just arrange the sausages well and make sure that it's well placed oh i forgot to even add my korean thyme and the seasoning so i'm just adding that in now while i stir in, in the sauce together before i finally add in my eggs 
how it looks very nice it's almost like stew you can just eat this with your rice or whatever you want to eat this with or even with yam you can eat this like this with your rice and yam but the moment you add your eggs to it it's almost like you have pizza that you can eat with your agave bread or any very nice bread you have so i'm adding in that red pepper the grinded red pepper to make this more you know a bit you know more pepperish because i like pepper if you don't like pepper you can just skip that since when we already use fresh pepper so next it's time to introduce our eggs so now i'm just pouring the eggs all around just pouring it all around yeah so after i've added in my eggs the next thing i'm going to do is i'm just going to try and um, some sort of level the eggs well in the frying pan but it's already well leveled so what i'm going to do now is start dropping the plantain i already fried my plantain so you need to get your plantain and cut your plantain in a circular motion and make sure you cut the plantain to not be so flat so it has a bit of volume so it doesn't just sink into the the fall into the eggs so after you, you fried your plantain you just start placing it all around the egg on top of the eggs while it's being fried just place it all around it like just try and make sure the plantain goes over even if the plantain sits in don't really bother yourself about it just keep on going all around placing the plantain everywhere place it place it place it place it place it everywhere by the time it starts to cook it's going to come back up the ones that seem to have fallen in is going to still come back up so don't worry yourself about that so now i'm adding in some spring onions to the upper parts just to beautify this frittata so next i'm going to just throw in my pepper just all around <laughs> the all part of it just to make it more colorful yes and yes your girl likes pepper so i'm going to cover it with this pot cover now and just allow it cook and i'm going to show you i'm going, I'm going to leave it um, and don't forget it's going to be on low heat i'm going to leave it there to cook for about 20 30 minutes yeah i forgot to i just wanted to add more of the bell pepper the green bell pepper so i'm just adding strips of the green bell pepper and i'm also going to add strips of the red pepper as well yeah i see how it looks now really nice just cover it let it cook for a bit you can see how it looks now wow. but it's not here ready it still needs it still needs to dry up this part here is still wet i'm just gonna leave it there to cook but i think um having this cook in your oven having it like in a baking pan and cooking it in your oven might even be easier when it comes to like the upper of the frittata drying up or in the case when you have your frittata wet like this at the upper what you can do is you can use your to pick and just um, um sort of sort of chuck it a bit so that the water at the upper part or the egg at the upper part starts to go in and get dried up that's one one thing you can do so you can see how it looks now my fitata is ready it looks beautiful it looks delicious it's de it's very delicious actually so if fitata is something you've never tried before i think you should um make it it's a healthy breakfast um option and it's something that will be just a slice of the frittata you can eat the slice with your bread your portion of bread and you feel very full it's very delicious it's also filling and your kids will like it <laughs> you would also like it your friends will also like it so just definitely make sure you try frittata it's very delicious it's so beautiful it's oh once you try frittata you'd always want to have frittata so um make sure you try it and um, please subscribe to my channel if you're not yet subscribed like this video share with your friends and i'll catch you in my next one bye guys have a good day purchase our limited edition makeup product from our website www.enlpcng.com